Alistair, well done. I have to say, it was really, it was quite spirited at times with the audience, wasn't it? I, I thought it was, and I thought, as you well know, because we discussed it many times, we wanted a people's forum. We didn't want a room full of people who are professional interrogators, professional interviewers, sharing too much of what they themselves think about these great issues. And I think we genuinely got that. I thought there was real cut and thrust. I thought two of the questioners who were stand out were the young woman who wanted to know whether uh, it was part of government's responsibility to, to help her raise a deposit because she wanted to get on the housing ladder. Uh, and the young lad who said he wanted action from her to stop her, his university university lecturers, for whom he pays a lot of money, uh, going on strike. Uh, I thought they genuinely were spirited. I hope and I think that we got the balance right between her giving an answer, them having a comeback and me just occasionally popping in uh, a little bit of clarification. Just one thing from your overall introduction, which I also thought was very interesting uh, on the ECHR. Uh, in all of my research notes, it stands out crystal clear that she has said, rather like Dave Cameron did about Brexit, I'm going to try and negotiate negotiate improvements, but if I can't get them, then we will withdraw from it. I was slightly surprised, like you, uh, that she didn't give that uh, a clear statement of intent right here, right now. We pushed it a couple of times, but we only had an hour. Uh, the other final point, I thought, which was intriguing, was she's got Tom Tugan out and she's got Penny Morden on side. She stretched out the hand of friendship to Kemi Badenoch and said, I hope that Kemi will serve with me uh, in my cabinet if I'm successful.